Yo everybody, this is Rock of the Great, aka The Toy Book, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a very simple, easy diorama that you could just jump right in. You can make this diorama very easy, even if you have just beginner skills, and say you just have some action figures you want to you want to just display them nicely, this is a very easy jump in point for any of you. And it, this is something I've been wanting to do for so long, and now I have an excuse to finally do it. So I recently got this NECA ghost face figure. These are the uh, 8 inch figures, but I will make this diorama for the 7 inch figures also. As you can see, there's a pretty big uh, scale difference. But um, this diorama should be fine for both. Again, it usually comes down to your toy photography skills and scaling and all that stuff. Perfect. So uh, what we're gonna be doing in today's video is we're gonna be adding wallpaper to your dioramas. Now, wallpaper is probably the easiest thing to do for a diorama. You don't need paint skills. You don't need anything other than just a few little tips and we'll get into them today. So uh, without even, you know, Wasting any time. Let's just do it Perfect. now. I have the XPS foam now. This is the foam Insulation foam that goes in your walls. This is what a lot of people do to paint dioramas and stuff like this is All this actually in here is XPS foam like this is XPS foam you can see see look right there But now it looks like stone So this is what usually a lot of people use for dioramas if you don't have this you could use just cardboard For what we're doing right today, so you could this is really an easy jumping in point for anybody. Now, we could put cardboard up instead of this, and uh, because the what's this is just for the um, durability, right? Like if I have this foam and I do it with the foam, it's gonna last long. It's gonna be nice. But you could also do it with some cardboard. But I'll do it on here. Just follow the same directions. Whatever you want to put on something hard, even a piece of wood, if you want to put it on, it's all the same. So you go to Walmart or Hobby Lobby or any hobby store and you just get this uh, scrapbooking paper. Find something that has a lot of uh, designs that you like. Now, I'm thinking this could work for a lot of retro movies like 80s, 70s, even some current houses could just have like it's out of date. You know what I mean? So. I was thinking about going with that one. I'm not sure. That one looks like a good one too, but I think I might go with the yellow. I mean, this is a nice color, but it, it's white and it's kind of boring. This is another one I would like to do. Maybe I'll do this in the future. Yeah, I think that could work, right? What do you guys think? These walls are not magnetized or anything and they're not attached to the floor. I'll probably add these magnets in off camera. I have a whole video on adding magnets, so you could just go, you could snap them together and you could display them like that and you could also move things around. That's what's good about magnets. Today's video, we're gonna stick to the wallpaper. So let me get all set up and we'll go to the wallpaper section. I'm gonna probably put the magnets in right now. All right, now that we have the magnets in, we are gonna just grab, I decided I'm gonna go with this and I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna actually just go right over the magnets. Sometimes the magnets are strong enough to go through the paper. If anything, I will just cut out the magnet uh, with an X-Acto knife. So, Let's just put, I'm gonna use dollar store Elmer's glue, or dollar store glue, and uh, just put some glue on here. And I'm not too worried, um, you, you should, if you do have a brush, if you have a brush, um, like an old brush that you don't use, I would grab it and then try to like, you know, like, um, like this, just wipe it around so it gets like all over nicely. Make sure you get that everywhere. And again, like even like wallpaper in a real house, it's never perfect. So I don't have to be too worried about it. And it is just in the background. You should be fine. And if you mess up, you could always do a battle damaged house. So that's good. You know, like you could just do like a, uh, you know, like a worn down house or something. Just try to make sure I get it in all the spots. Okay, this is looking good. Make sure you just get on the, the corners. Again, you could always just do stuff on top. So this is just regular glue. All right, that's good enough. You could probably do it on this paper too, but um, yeah, this is the careful part. 
be careful with this. So you don't have to keep taking it up. Yeah, start on the bottom and go to the top. Or just start in a corner and then just smooth it out. There we go. And again, I don't use like the fancy stuff. So none of my things are perfect. Um, I don't use the fancy foam cutters. So none of my cuts are ever perfect and stuff. And again, it's just for the background. It, it, it doesn't matter to me. My diorama stuff has always been, as long as I'm happy with it, then that's all I care about. Yeah, see, it's a little bit bigger. Just fold it over. And you can always cut that off or just fold it over. So I'm gonna be adding molding onto here anyway. I even like some of the wrinkles. I think the wrinkles could add some uh, depth. So now look, we already got, that's already looking good. Look at that. So we got that one and we're gonna do the same one here. I'm not gonna show it because I just showed the other stuff and we'll come back when this is all dried. All right, and here we are, super nice and quick. It is just about dry. It's still got some drying to do. I just wanted to like, look, if we, if we took it up close right here, you can get a cool shot maybe. I'd have to work with it a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys. That's how easy it is to start your own uh, room diorama. What I plan to do is I am going to be making a window right here because it's too much wall. It needs like a little bit of a window. And then I'm going to be doing a roof with a light, maybe even a hang down light. Now, that's what it looks like without him. He is eight inch. So if we put a, hold on, let's put a Marvel Legend in here. Hold on. Obviously, it's going to drastically change the scale. This is probably what it's more scaled towards. That's a 112th scale Marvel Legends. Very nice. Um, let me see. What else can we put here? Again, even 7 inch is a little bit bigger scale. You're going to have to work with it a little bit. But you could make this work. Say you put him right there in front of her. You make the pumpkin shown right there and there you go so this video was for all the people who said uh, why don't you do diorama videos anymore we need more diorama videos what I do on my channel is I don't force things and I don't do things that I'm not passionate about so I actually got this new ghost face figure and I wanted to make just a normal house diorama so that kicked my butt and inspired me to do what we would. And plus, I've been actually wanting to try the wallpaper technique for a long time. I've never done it yet, and I think it came out perfectly, and I'm going to be doing more walls where I can interchange them. Maybe I'll even put, like, a different color wall over here because, you know, break it up. It might be too much pattern. But again, when we add the window, that'll help. And maybe even do a tutorial on the channel of me doing the window. So... Thank you guys for watching. I know a lot of people are not gonna watch this video, so those of you who do watch this video, please smash the like button and uh, leave many comments, spam the bottom so it'll promote this out to a, a, a bunch of people. But I know this is for my hardcore diorama people who have been here since before the toy hunts. I appreciate you guys, and uh, hopefully you're satisfied. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rock with a great AKA the Story Boogie. Stay great, peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave a comment, even if you don't have anything to say. Also, you're wondering why I'm pointing at these two videos. Click on these two videos. I'm waiting.